Hey folks, welcome to the video on how to set up MLflow. So one of the great things about MLflow is that as you are creating your models and you are establishing your benchmarks for performance, as you, you know, tune the model, as you add new features, you can track how well the model is doing. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to set up a really cool open source tool that lets us track the, um, the machine learning life cycle. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at their quick start and we see it's as simple as a pip install ML flow. So instead of installing it to the machine itself, what we're going to do is we're going to put it into a Docker image and then we're going to run the Docker image so we can start it and stop it and control it that way. So to create the Docker file, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the miniconda um, Docker image. Then we're going to upgrade pip. We're going to install mlflow. Uh, we're going to create a volume for ml runs. That's where the data is going to live. And then we're going to run that. So, so that is, uh, that's a quick overview of the Docker file itself. So for building the Docker file, we're going to do Docker build we're going to tag it. We're going to call it MLflow server. All right. Now that that's built, we're going to have a um, bash command that's going to run MLflow. So we're going to do sudo docker run detached for the dash D. We're going to put the ML runs folder on the local machine as the volume mounted into the Docker image. We're going to open up port 5000. We're going to give it our AWS access key so that it can store some of the data on S3. One of the nice things about MLflow is you can store images, you can store the model itself, you can store kind of anything you want as an artifact on S3. You can do, and then we're going to do MLflow server. That is our Docker uh, image name. Then we're going to run the command MLflow server and we're going to pass in the default artifact route. Um, this is whatever it would be for you. And then we're going to store our, our files in ML runs. All right. So now looking at our directory, we can see that we have made run.sh an executable. So we're going to run that now. And uh, ML flow is now running. So come over here. We're at 0000, so this is our local host. Hit refresh, and here we have it. So as we are building the models, we're going to have a little Python code that's going to store our metrics, our inputs, um, really it's our parameters, and then our metrics for each run. And as we're having the different experiments, that's how this is going to work. So that is uh, the, the quick intro on how to set up MLflow.